Hello, and welcome to Adventures into the Unknown. In today's video, I will be searching for fossils, also any kind of wildlife that I might come across. I am actually up in northern Arizona on some private property that, yes, I do have permission to be on. So sit back and get ready to do some exploring. All right, so we're going to head up here to the wall back in here. That is where I found fossils like this one here. If you know what this is, drop a comment in the comment section down below. I know what it is. I found this several years ago back up along that wall. And as you can see, it's pretty much from the same sort of sandstone that that wall back up there is made out of. So that's enough jaw jacking. Time to get hiking.
looks like somebody has dug this out. Probably a coyote, maybe a badger. Now, something to be on the lookout up in this area would be these banana yucca, I believe is what they're called. A lot of times the indigenous people would plant these plants or I don't know as if they plant them, but at least these plants did appear around their campsites. And that would make sense because they would have protection from the top of the mesa. And they are actually on kind of a false top up here. This mesa goes up in tiers and each time you think you get to the top, there's another level up above. So again, we can find more of these yucca. Typically that would indicate a campsite up in this area and honestly this would probably be a fairly decent campsite in the shadow of the very top of the mesa. Something that you can keep an eye out for if you find a cluster of them you might start looking for pottery however I think this area has been pretty well picked. Now this is what it would look like had that round geode been broken open. You'd find something like that. You'd find a cavity in there. Maybe full of crystals, maybe not. Look at this wild tree, basically on top of that wall. We just walked up to the top of it. You can see we're pretty high up here. Look out across the valley there. And at the top you got this lone crazy looking tree. And I found the stake to the corner of your property, Kelly. Right there, at the top. Now on top of this cliff here is a flat area and there are all kinds of shells embedded in this stone. There are all kinds of shells basically embedded in here. That's a pretty good example of one right there. All these shells have been here for thousands if not millions of years and now are being exposed as this stone wears away. Now that's a little outcropping. I will probably explore that in another video. So you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that future video. Not quite sure what this is. Kind of looks like petrified wood or maybe petrified bone. Kind of looks crystallized. 
If you know what that is, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Pretty cool stuff. All right, here we go. Coming up to the big wall. And that big old rock over there. That fell off of that, and so far has made it this far down the hill. It still has a long way to go. All right, on our way over, check out that rock. What? That looks like a broken open dinosaur egg. Okay, so it's, all right, so it's not the right shape for a dinosaur egg. But look at those colors and kind of those veins running through there. That is different. That is definitely different. on recording. Yeah. Look at that. Like a billy goat. Wait, how'd you get over there? Huh? How did you get up there? Uh huh. All right, onward and upward. Let's go. Boy. All right, Katana, let's go. Another pretty big rock. It's come off of there. It's fallen from up there. Some big boulders. This is the type area where I find some of those big fossils. I've also found some petrified coral down in this stuff as well. I know the camera doesn't do it justice of how high that is. It probably doesn't even get the true coloring either, but it gives you an idea. Check out the patterns in this rock. Those are prehistoric shells that were at one time embedded in that rock. Pretty wild. 
Here is another sample of a rock with those shells. And then we got this elongated one as well. And we got some more down here. Look at this. It looks like this slab any day now is ready to just come off of the face of this wall. Be interesting to see what's on there on the back side. Actually, I think I can get up there. Yeah, right now it's essentially being held up by this rock below it. And right up there, leaning on the face of the wall of this rock. It's basically slid down. So it's basically slid down. And at some point, and at some point in time, I'm guessing that rock's gonna go. And then obviously the big rock will slide down. Is it just me or does that look like a head with a nose and its mouth sticking out there? Or am I just getting tired? I don't know, kind of looks like a head with a nose, maybe a chin. All right, couple more, a couple more fossils. You can almost feel like that would be scaly or, I don't know, you can almost feel the pattern there. Same with this one. Pretty cool. Pretty amazing that that stuff has survived all these years. Now, not sure what that is. Kind of looks like maybe a tree limb, long and skinny, but it continues on over here on that same rock. It kind of has that pattern, almost like a vein. And then if you, and if I go up one rock without falling, there's all kinds of like, there's all kinds of like, looks like worms or what have you. All right, is that a prehistoric shark tooth? What in the world is that? Is it a, uh, That is pretty wild. And on that same rock, there's a lot more of these seashells. There's a dog. And then there's a whole lot more of these triangle type shells or shark's teeth or whatever those must be. All in the same rock with the dog and that shark tooth. All right, we got one of these little guys here. And then it looks like one of those, but it's actually just a circle. The rest is basically 
deteriorated. The rest is nothing but dust in the wind. It's coming up on winter up here in Arizona and everything is pretty much dead. All the grass and everything, but somehow this yellow flower is in full bloom. No idea what that is. If you know what this flower is, share your knowledge down in the comment section. It'd be appreciated. Thank you.